Hey everybody, welcome to Round the Twist, episode 197. It is March 4th, 2015, and I've got a couple co-hosts running around, so if you hear little baby jibber-jabber, it's just them. If you hear whining in the very far distance, that would be the dogs, because they are penned off upstairs. Uh, Let's jump right into what's on my needles. And actually what I'm gonna do, try to help things here a little bit. I think the computer screen's creating a very blue light, I think. So I'm gonna shut the screen off for while I'm recording. So here we go, guys, we're gonna try this. All right, first things first is the two by two Hands of Blue socks in, uh, they're in, residing in my Stitch by Jessalou Jane hat bag. And yes, I said they, because the first sock, the 72 stitch vanilla sock, the first sock is done, minus the heel. I can't get everything done, but I got the first sock finished. Toe Kitchenered, it's ready to ha just have the, um, the waste yarn pulled out and the afterthought heel done, but I'm waiting because I was in the middle of something else which was not a good time to be uh, what I was doing at the time was not a good time to be picking up stitches and ripping out yarn so instead I started I cast on and started the second sock so this is the yarn is from uh, Friday Studios Oh, I'm gonna have to have the screen on you guys I'm sorry okay just so I can see when stuff's focusing there we go it is her Monday base, which is a superwash wool marine or superwash wool nylon blend 7525 in the two by two hands of blue colorway. And second sock, kind of does not want to focus. There we go. So I made it through the ribbing, and the blue stripe is the beginning of the cuff. So I have a wee, wee little second sock started for hubby. And I'm knitting these up. Um, the Monday base is quite thin. I'd compare it to um, maybe opal in terms of thinness. Um, so I'm knitting it up on US 1's 2.25 uh, millimeter needle. I'm using the Chowgu red cable needles, which I'm still not liking them. I mean, I'm working with them, but I just, I don't like this stiff of a cable to magic loop. But moving, putting the craft room together. Yes, I know. We've been here almost three months now. My craft room's still not done. It's not going to be done in the foreseeable future. So uh, maybe I'll get to it this summer. I don't know. So everything's kind of in boxes, and I don't know where stuff is. And things that we had at the apartment got shoved into boxes by my dad and my husband and they just kind of shove stuff and I don't know where I went searching for a needle the other day and I could not for the life of me I could not find uh, one of my signature circular needles anywhere driving me nuts I still haven't found it still haven't found it. I know I just used it in December in this house cannot find it so I'm sure it's somewhere back there I just don't know where so lovely. The socks are coming along. I like the yarn. I think it's going to be nice and rugged for hubby. Uh, this will only be his third pair of socks. I've knit him a pair. My mom has knit him a pair. Um, so this will be his third pair of socks. He's kind of, okay, that was weird. He's kind of warm blooded, so he's not big on wool socks, but I think the, um, Colorado winter has kind of gotten to him and he like I told you guys before he actually asked me for socks before Christmas so they're coming I'm actually kind of surprised at how fast these are going but yay as long as I knit on them that's the kicker right stuff gets done when you actually knit on it I know it's a novel concept hey, Tara mommy needs her show notes do you want to sit on my lap okay <gasps> wow yeah. yeah, that's you. Do you see yourself? Wow. So 
that's the first thing. We'll move on. Let me grab some coffee. It's actually like 3.15 in the afternoon here. I have not had coffee yet today. <laughs> How I'm even functional. Why am I recording when I haven't had any coffee? It's a mystery. And, uh, huh. Oh, gosh, that's good. I'm trying to finish the coffee that I have because, like I said last week, I'm, or no, I didn't say last week. I needed to make an order uh, from San Marco Coffee which I need to remember to link that. Uh, someone over on Rav asked me where I got my coffee from. It is from San Marco Coffee, which is it's somewhere in one of the Carolinas. It's sanmarcocoffee.com. They're actually pretty quick. They roast uh, your order. They, they roast your coffee to order, which is so you know it's fresh coming to you. Um, yeah, mom's got cold hands. They, it, I think I ordered mine the 26th, so like last Thursday, and they roasted, shipped it within like two days, and my coffee should come today, so I'll have some new flavors to try for you guys. I got an Amaretto, uh, I think it was Amaretto Supreme, I got a Pecan Fudge, I haven't tried that one before, a Chocolate Raspberry, and, um... Oh, strawberry wave cheesecake. That's kind of the really weird one that I thought sounded good to try. So what I have today is the Hawaiian pineapple, and it's still delicious, and I still love it, and I got another pound of it, so. What? What's the matter, Mr. Man? Yeah, you got it. So yeah, more coffee. Make sure you've got your... If you don't have a hot beverage in reach or beverage of your choice, please pause this and go get something because you need something. Don't you, Tara? Yes! <laughs> yes, we do. Are we going to giggle? We're not going to giggle. There we go. Um, second thing is down here. It's in my Tangerine Designs TARDIS bag. Yeah, you can't put it in there. It's zip shut. And these are my Atlantic Current socks. It's the Atlantic Current pattern by uh, Melia Bella, Melissa from the His and Hers podcast. Are you helping? Here, can we find the tag? There's the tag. These are knit. Yeah, see, that's really blue. Ooh, sorry. Got you in the face with the needles, didn't you? A little bit better back here. Oh, there we go. So there's the color. It's Captain Tight Pants. Yep, and Tara's showing you the yarn. Isn't it pretty? This is another thin one. It's from Into the World. Come on, autofocus. This is why I got a new camera, so it would focus. There we go. Captain Tight Pants colorway in their Pococo sock, which is a 7525 Superwash Merino and Nylon. Can I have that? Thank you. Can I put you down without you freaking out? <laughs> I'm a deadly nut. It's time to call the ambulance. Hang on, Tara Tara. Let Mama talk. Hey. You're okay. Here, play with that one. There we go. So, <laughs> these are for me. Like I said, the yarn is very, very thin. I was, I'm kind of concerned. Now, like, I normally knit socks that rock lightweight at a fairly firm gauge. Uh, I usually use a US 1.5, so a 2.5 millimeter. I'm using a US 1 2.25 millimeter. Come on, camera. Trying to show you. Okay, there we go. Ow, bugger. So the top one. <laughs> well, maybe we'll just go here. The top one is Socks That Rock. The bottom one is the Into the World. And you can see it's really thin. It's really thin. 
um i'm hoping the socks stand up because the colors are beautiful and i'm loving knitting with it it's very soft um but yeah i actually have most of a sock done here this is i tried it on the other night and i maybe have to do two more repeats of the pattern which the pattern is very short very easily memorizable if you're looking for something slightly different i'd highly recommend getting the atlantic current socks yes tara uh-uh leave that alone uh-uh ick thank you get the atlantic current socks pattern because it's nice it's easily memorizable it looks cool it kind of breaks up any pooling with those slip stitches and you have a choice you can have it run down the foot which i decided to do like you can see or you can do a plain foot and then just motor your way out so yeah i'm maybe like six rows away from starting the toe on this first sock and i'm loving the color i'm loving everything uh, the magic looping is going much better because i'm using an addy i think this is an addy lace i don't think no this isn't my sock rockets because my sock rockets. what's the matter babe oh my goodness baby boy you are high centered what are you doing you can't go in that way there you go. What's wrong? Oh, it must be getting close to nap time for some babies. Okay. So, <laughs> we'll try to hurry things along here. Everyone, I'm very sorry. I probably should have put them down for their naps before I recorded, but they were doing fine. Yeah, you've got a block. What number's on the block? What number is that? That's one. Yeah. So, that's the second thing on the needles. Third thing. I have a third thing. Yay. I started. Da, 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 da. I feel like I need a fanfare. So, da, 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 da. Um, I started my county redemption sweater craziness the yarn's been sitting here wound staring at me for probably three weeks three two three weeks yep that's it Gabe good job and yesterday I decided was the perfect time to start the sweater so I grabbed uh -uh, that's mommy's coffee you don't need coffee at your age young lady college maybe um, so I started the sweater it's I'm doing the exact same thing I did five years ago five years ago oh my gosh it's the county rainbow cardigan by Ruth Sorensen you can find it on Ravelry it is a free pattern the link from the web page is um, I don't want to say it's broken it keeps saying it doesn't exist so you actually have to go on the Wayback machine and do a search for the county rainbow cardigan what I'm gonna do uh, I'm going to put a link to it on my project page. So if you go over to the blog, roundthetwistwithkaren.blogspot.com, you can, uh, or go to my project page on Ravelry, look for the County Redemption. It's right at the top. I don't have a picture for it yet, but it's there. Uh, I'm going to put a link to the pattern. I'm going to put a link to the YouTube. The, I've used two YouTube videos basically to do the ribbing. Yeah. Well, one for the cast on because I did a two color cast on and one for the two color ribbing. Please don't bang on that, capers. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, don't bang on that. No. Here, bang on mama's hand. Go. Yeah. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. <laughs> tickle, the, tickle, tickle the game. Tickle the game. Oh, nose. Where's your nose? There it is. Good job. Uh, so, the county. I had my yarn all wound up, and when I look at it, it's a lot duskier, I guess would be a good word. It's almost like a grayed out version of the yarn that I had before. So, we're using the... Zip, wrong way. The county effect garn in the EF 
color, which is the same one that I knit the last counting out of. Thank you, Mom, for buying me more yarn in the exact same colorway. However, the dye lot is different. It doesn't list dye lots on here, but the, the color is not... I don't want to say vibrant. That's wrong. It just... Duskier is the best descriptor I can give you. So, ooh, gosh. God, the color's bad on this. Sorry, you guys. Okay, ooh, ooh, there we go. So you can kind of see, it kind of comes through, but right inside the edge, like after the pink is supposed to be blue, and then what's around the outside is purple. So what's in the center right now, what I'm drawing out of is blue, purple, and then there's green in there right before. But it's very dark, I guess. Let's see if this one shows a little better. Eh, not really. Kind of. You can kind of see the green there before the pink on the outside. We'll see how it works out now that I'm, I've started the knitting. So uh, I'm doing a medium. So I cast on like 242 stitches, something like that. Did the ribbing on US two and a halfs, which is a three millimeter needle. What'd you find, Tara Tara? Oh, you found the Wiimote. Can you bring it here, please? Can Mama have it? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. You're not hurting anything. Go ahead and play with it. That's fine. Uh, I just, last night, finished the ribbing. So I did my increases and I switched up to a US 4, which is the signature circular that I still cannot find. That's why I was going nuts uh, yesterday looking for, because I wanted to start this thing, darn it. And what if I got through the ribbing? Uh-oh. There you go. So here's what I have so far. I have the ribbing and I have like three, four rows of the actual sweater. And it's the green and blue. So it's going to be kind of hard to see. Eh, oh, my lighting sucks, you guys. Well, there we go, kind of. So I've done like one row of blue, one of green, and two of blue, and I'm getting ready to start the actual color work. So the US 4 that I found, I think it's a 40. <laughs> and it's just enough. Okay, there you go. It's just enough too long that it's uncomfortable to work with. You're okay. Wambulance. Here we go. Uh, just to the point that it's kind of like when you're knitting a hat and the circular you're working on, the stitches are stretched just enough so you're constantly having to scoot. It's kind of like that. So I need to, I need to find a 32 inch, and I have one. Frustrating. Last time I used it was to knit a Christmas ornament for a coworker in December. I knit it right here, this very spot. I still had the project bag with the yarn from this Christmas ornament sitting right over here, right next to my desk. I, once I realized, oh, that's where it was, I grabbed the bag and I was like, yes, yank the bag open. No circular. It's not in my namaste circular case it's i found a whole wad of loose circulars i don't know either that or it's in this mess that i call a desk somewhere it'll turn up i know it's in the house uh there's several other things i still don't know where they are um but it's working for now i can switch over to um <laughs> to one of my nitpicks what are you doing Silly boy. I could switch over to one of my nitpicks, interchangeables. I just, I didn't feel like doing that yesterday. And hey, I had this one, so I could start. So I, I'll probably do that when I'm done recording. So the county is started. Yay! So we'll set that there. I actually did some spinning this week. So what's on my wheel is the second half of the Crown Mountain Farms. We are the champions. They're Superwash Marina. This is the second four ounces. 
the first four ounces, see, I, I put nothing away. Everything's still here from like three weeks ago or more. This is the first, this was the, I was, remember I split the eight ounce bump in half and I did a traditional three ply for this. And oh, it's pretty. Still don't know what my yardage is because I can't find my yardage meter. Another thing I can't find. I, I think I know what box it's in, but it's, I'll figure it out. So that I'm doing half the traditional three ply, which is done. The second half, I just started spinning the singles. I'm not even going to pull the B up. It's sitting over here that way. Uh, I pulled off like a three foot length of roving and I think I maybe spun six inches of that roving. So there's negligible progress to see, but I did start, I started it. So yay, I need to start coming down here and spinning at night some more rather than just sitting in obsessively. Oh my goodness, what? Whoa. So the spinning is happening slowly, very slowly. I need to get back into that. So that's everything I'm spinning right now. And then pokey things. So last week I showed you my, um, my finished winter sampler from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I've started another Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Another piece, one I've been planning for a while. Uh, this is hopefully going to go in Tara's room. I'm hopeful that I will finish it before she goes to college. Although the way I stitch, who knows? Uh, this was last year's uh, stitch along, I guess. It's the Once Upon a Time sampler. And I know I showed you guys the cloth before and all of the yarn. This is the one that's, it's fairy tales. And the yarn is, the yarn, the cloth is sparkly. So you can, all those little bitty light spots, that's actually sparkle. And I'm, I've got the grid done for all the months. This thing is huge. I feel like it's so big. I wasn't expecting each of the squares. Each of the squares is like three by three. I wasn't expecting them to be that big, just looking at other people's projects. But I suppose when you don't have anything in the picture for perspective, that's normal. Uh, so yeah, you can kind of see the variation. The cloth is hand dyed from uh, Picture This Plus. And it's beautiful. It's got, I, I just got the Aida because I didn't want to do linen. I just didn't. And just from the dye process, it's got, oh, thank you. Can Mama have that, please? Yeah, you found a Tylenol bottle. Where did you find that, baby girl? No. Nope. Tara of the Wham, you lens. Oh, no. Look at that, how pretty. So... <laughs> Yeah, no, you can't have that. That has sharp things. Ouch. So that's really going to tick her off now. So I got working on that. That's a couple nights of stitching, watching Supernatural or having Supernatural play in the background. That's my... So not a lot to show, but I'm happy that I got the grid done. Yeah! Here. Here you go. Play with that. I just give them my project bags. As long as they're shut, it doesn't matter. Hi, what's up? Uh, so the grid is done. I'm working on the little banner at the top, and then there's a really intricate border that goes all the way around the edge. I haven't decided if I want to stitch that whole border and then start filling in the inside, or if I want to like do the border for the corner that January's in and stitch the January thing. Uh, do the border. Well, I'm kind of doing the border above February already. Um, I'll take it little bits at a time and we'll see how it goes. So that's it for pokey things. Uh, various and sundry. Less things. Uh, anyone who would like to join me in, I'm going to call it, or let's, I'm going to, let's gauge interest. Is anyone interested in doing what I call a, I'm going to call a redemption cow. A redemption knit along, craft along, uh, I, I just, I feel like the, 
the county is such a big thing that the last time I, I knit it, it was such a big thing to do. It was really my first major color work thing that I did. Like major color work thing. I'd done a couple of little purses and little things that really weren't color work or were duplicate stitch to make it look like color work when it really wasn't. But if you've ever Think about, think about this. If you've ever had uh, some major project, I'm not talking pulling a Karen. I'm not talking burning your sweater in an oven. What's the matter? Oh my goodness. I'm not talking burning your sweater in an oven. I'm talking gauge issues. I'm talking something that you loved that for some reason you, you love the pro the project, but something went awry with the blocking or some you just abandon it and then you couldn't figure out where you were in the pattern. Something major, something you still are always like, mm, I should go back and do that again. Or, ooh, I'm such a better knitter now. I could, I could really, I could do that project over better. Would anyone be interested in joining me in a redemption cow? I'll come up with some kind of prizes. Um, well, oh my goodness, you brought me the alarm clock, Tara. That's fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> you silly girl. I'm just glad it wasn't a lamp. Oh. Obviously, they're into everything. So I'll put up a thread just to gauge interest. Um, just to gauge interest, see what everyone thinks, and we'll go from there. If we've got enough interest, then uh, we'll make it an official cow. But I just I want to see how everyone feels. I don't just want to. I know there are so many knit alongs and stitch alongs and spin alongs and everything. You don't have time to do anything major, but feel free if you can use it to double or triple dip with other. Um, other craft alongs. That's perfectly okay, but it will go, I'm thinking it'll go as long as I'm knitting on the county and we'll go from there. It's going to be very loose, very easy. There'll be some rules for um, entering for the prizes, but you can make it work. Okay. Last thing, various and sundry, uh, with, or last thing within various and sundry, I had the very nice Paula Stubbs on Rav uh, asked, where is Phoebe? <laughs> you might have noticed a conspicuous absence of the white fluffy dog. Well, at our old house in Omaha, everything was carpeted. And here, while the basement is carpeted and the majority of the upstairs is carpeted, thank you. Thank you. Can I keep this? Thank you. Uh, there is... Here you go. Our kitchen and the hallway that leads to the basement, to the stairs to the basement, is hardwood. And because Phoebe is almost 11, she's getting to be a crotchety old lady dog. She does not like change and she absolutely freaks out when she is on the hardwood. Like she'll go on there like six inches onto the hardwood to eat her food because I'm big on no dog kibble in on carpet that's just gross um but she does not <laughs> she has to cross the three foot three four foot swath of hallway to go from our living room to the room where the dog's kennels are and she hates it like she almost does a spin out with her nails on my just uh, freaks out never mind if i try to like grab her by the collar to have her come down here with us just to kind of help lead her she just pancakes onto the floor all four legs are out and she's just freaks and as old as she is i don't want to stress her out um plus she kind of freaks out with the babies because they're small people trying to invade her turf uh she likes them enough well enough but she wants her space so if i have the babies down here you will not see phoebe uh, you don't see Daisy today because I left the kitty gate across the top of the stairs so that 
uh, she couldn't get down here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Phoebe is still around. She's still here. She, if you hear, hear the dog whining in the background, that's her. And, uh, maybe someday when I don't have the babies down here, I'll carry her, but she also freaks out being carried. She's never been a dog that likes to be carried or cuddled. Like she likes to cuddle, but on her terms, she doesn't want you picking her up and snuggling her. That's just, no, does not like it. So I'll try to get her down here for a show sometime in the near future. Just she's not constantly curled up under my chair anymore. That's just not her spot. And that's where we're at. So until next week, everyone, which we'll see how next week goes. I have another four day work weekend. What's up? I have another four day work weekend coming up, so we'll see how much crafting I am able to do. Probably not a whole lot, but I will still return next week. Oh, one more, because I know someone will ask. I'm wearing a sock head hat that I actually knit out of some Into the World Superwash Merino in the wibbly wobbly, timey wimey colorway. I did a traditional three ply and just spun up the four ounces and sock head hat knit on us fours and i love it it's i needed a hat we didn't have uh there happened to be a massive snowstorm cold snap before we got our second pod of stuff which included our all of our boxes with our winter coats in it <laughs> uh for a while it was very cold out here because we got like four or five inches of snow and my coat was a giant hoodie that I had from college. <laughs> That's all I had. Uh, so I didn't have hats, I didn't have gloves, I didn't have anything. So I was trying to hurry up and knit myself accessories. What did I want to do for a hat? I wanted to spin the yarn instead of just use yarn that I had. And I don't know what possessed me to do that, but I'm interested a few of my coworkers in knitting and yeah. So that's where we're at. Got this lovely sock head hat out of the deal. It was my worry knitting when we had some family health problems with extended family and I was able to get it done in about a week. So there we go. That's going to be everything. Until next week, everyone. Happy knitting. <laughs>